Sorry, I got cut off there. My recorder just cuts off for five minutes. So I have suggested 0 .001, and ah, oh, that's about uh, what 70 rand. Ah, oh, it's a little bit uh, too low. Let's say double zero one. So that should be that should be about 700 rand just to give it something realistic. And then if I say USDT are, and let's also give it about 700 Rand, let's call it $50. So I'm going to give it $50. So, whoops. So let's say we have a total of 1,500 Rand invested half in Bitcoin and half in USD Tether. Now we've got sort of a realistic portfolio and this is our trade simulator. So we're going to be doing our simulated trading and it's going to be trading about 700 Rand in Bitcoin and 700 Rand in USD Tether. So I'm gonna say save and restart. Sorry, I can do the red one, save and restart. And then as soon as that goes, that gets this little white tick again, then we can start. Is that going to, cool. So now I can, I think I can refresh my page. So once that's happened. So now I have my dip analyzer trading, dip analyzer trading. I can go home. All right, okay, so now it says, nothing to display yet, profitability is zero. Okay, so there are two more things that I would like to set up. The first thing is I wanna go to, I'm trying to remember if it's accounts or profile, I think it's profile trading, is it? I'm just trying to remember. Ah, there we go. So web and so this is the current web functionality that we are using. We want to go and say password, password required, and we're going to go and set up a password. So we can say like my trading bot password. So when I log into this um, trading bot again, it's then going to require a password. So I must just remember that it's going to require a password. That means that if anybody else does manage to get their hands on this fancy URL, they're not going to be able to log in. So that is the security side of things. That is a very important one. In the next video, I'm going to go over actually linking your Binance account for the first time. And how do we actually set that up using our API? Cool. Thanks.